What color is your Lamborghini? This is the kind of sick talk that you'll never hear from an old money man. But why is it that old money individuals avoid fast, flashy cars, opting instead for understated, timeless vehicles? It's not because they can't afford the latest Ferrari or Lamborghini. It's more about how those cars reflect their values, lifestyle, and long-term vision. Let's dive into the fascinating world of old money and explore why these individuals favor classic cars over fast machines. Number one, the power of subtlety. Old money's philosophy is rooted in subtlety. They don't need to shout about their wealth because, well, it speaks for itself. Just like with their clothing, old money families are known for dressing in ways that are stylish, but never ostentatious. For these families, the loud rev of an engine or the ultra-modern design of a sports car can feel a bit over the top. It's like wearing a gold Rolex encrusted with diamonds to a family picnic. Why make all that noise when you could quietly glide through life in a car that doesn't demand attention, but commands respect? Think about it. Old money people have long-standing traditions and connections that often span generations. Their wealth isn't new. It's layered with history, built through careful investment, not sudden windfalls. Driving a fast, flashy car can feel like a betrayal of those traditions. It's a bit too showy for a world that values discretion. Number two, reflection of values. Fast cars are exciting, sure, but they're often associated with impulse. You're driving a $300,000 sports car because you can and because it's exhilarating. But old money is all about stability, long-term investments, and lasting value. Things fast cars just don't embody. Luxury sedans, classic convertibles, or even vintage cars? They tell a different story. Old money families have nothing to prove. If anything, they find comfort in the idea that their wealth is enduring. Just like their 1960s Jaguar E-Type that's still parked in the garage. I mean, think about it. Would you rather drive a car that people can recognize as luxurious from two blocks away? or one that needs a second glance to be truly appreciated. Old money folks pick the latter every time. It's about sophistication, not speed. Number three, the pragmatism factor. Here's another thing to consider. Old money folks are surprisingly practical. Sure, they can afford to drop a few hundred grand on a car, but the question is, why would they? Flashy sports cars are notorious for their depreciation. You drive it off the lot, and boom, you've just lost a chunk of change. But a classic car? A well-maintained Rolls-Royce or a vintage Aston Martin? Those are assets. Hey, if it's good enough for James Bond, nothing more needs to be said. In any case, they don't lose value, they gain it over time. And that's something that old money appreciates. A car that not only stands the test of time, but also becomes more valuable the older it gets. It's like their approach to investments. Slow, steady, and sure to yield results. Number four, legacy over trend. Fast cars come and go. What's hot today is old news tomorrow. You could have the fastest car on the market this year, and by next year it's been outpaced by something sleeker and faster. Old money doesn't play that game. They don't buy into trends, they buy into legacy. This isn't just true for cars, but for their entire approach to life. Old money families are raised to think generationally. They're not just looking at the present, they're thinking about the next five decades. Fast cars are part of the here and now culture. But an antique Bentley or a timeless Mercedes-Benz? That's something that you pass down to your grandchildren. You'll often find old money families driving cars that their grandparents bought. For them, it's not just about having a nice ride, it's about the history attached to it. The stories, the legacy, and the sentiment that comes with these vehicles are priceless. Number five, a different kind of freedom. You might think, but doesn't old money want the thrill of speed, the adrenaline rush of a fast car? Well, here's the thing, they already have their own version of freedom, and it doesn't involve putting the pedal to the metal. 
For them, freedom is rooted in independence and stability. They aren't tethered to societal trends or fleeting desires. They've built lives where they don't need the rush of a fast car to feel alive. Their freedom comes from knowing that they have wealth that will last generations. They drive cars that symbolize their independence from fleeting pleasures and fast-paced lifestyles. Plus, when you're cruising through the Swiss Alps or rolling through the Hamptons in a vintage car, it's not about how fast you get there. It's about the journey itself. It's the breeze, the history, and the simple joy of experiencing life at a more relaxed pace. Number six, the environment factor. And let's not forget, old money families are often deeply rooted in values that go beyond wealth, including respect for the environment. Flashy supercars with their fuel-guzzling engines and turbocharged power don't exactly scream environmentally conscious. While new money may chase the thrill of fast cars, old money often leans towards hybrids or electric vehicles that align with a more responsible, forward-thinking mindset. Take the Tesla Model S, for example. It's sleek and sophisticated and packs performance without the over-the-top flash. Plus, it fits perfectly with the environmental consciousness that many old money families prioritize. It's not just about making a statement on the road, but about making a statement for the planet, too. Old money men understand that their lifestyle leaves a mark on the world, and they prefer that mark to be as small as possible. Fast cars, while exhilarating, don't align with this long-term view. In both financial and environmental terms, it is important to recognize that these high-powered machines aren't sustainable. Old money values subtlety, longevity, and responsibility, traits that a flashy supercar simply can't deliver. Number seven, comfort over speed. If you've ever had the pleasure of sitting inside a Rolls Royce or Bentley, you'll immediately understand why old money gravitates towards these masterpieces of engineering. It's not about the horsepower or how fast the engine can take you from zero to 60. No, it's about how the car makes you feel during every second of the journey. These cars are designed to cocoon you in luxury, making even the shortest drives feel like an event. The seats are crafted from the finest hand-stitched leather, giving you the feeling of sinking into a plush armchair. The dashboard? A masterpiece of hand-polished wood and bespoke finishes, where every detail has been meticulously crafted for a refined, tactile experience. The engine doesn't roar, it purrs softly, allowing you to glide down the road as if you're floating. It's all about comfort, something old money values highly. Why race from point A to point B when you can enjoy every second of the journey in pure comfort? Number eight, practicality and longevity. One of the key differences between old money and new money is how they view their purchases. New money often buys things for the thrill of the moment, while old money sees their purchases as investments. Fast cars, while exciting, are notorious for depreciating quickly. The second you drive that flashy car off the lot, it starts losing value. Old money individuals, on the other hand, are far more practical. They want cars that last, not just in terms of build quality, but also in terms of value. Sure, maintaining these vehicles requires care and attention, but they're investments, not liabilities. Fast cars, while fun, tend to be expensive to maintain. High performance engines require constant upkeep. And let's not even get into the cost of insurance. For old money individuals who tend to think in terms of the long game, fast cars just aren't practical. Why sink so much money into something that requires constant attention when you can invest in a vehicle that's timeless, elegant, and relatively low maintenance? And number nine, the new money connotation. Here's where the culture clash comes in. In high society, fast cars are often seen as a hallmark of new money. New money often gravitates towards fast cars as symbols of their success. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's natural to want to flaunt what you've earned. But here's the thing. New money is all about making statements. 
They want the world to know they've arrived. And what better way to do that than with a supercar? But old money? They've been here all along. Old money buys cars to enjoy them. For them, it's not a race, it's a stroll. So the next time you see a flashy car whizzing by, remember, wealth doesn't need to be fast or loud. True luxury lies in timeless elegance, lasting value, and a life well lived. That's why the old money crowd prefers to glide rather than race. What about you? Would you choose the rush of a fast car or the quiet sophistication of timeless luxury? Let me know in the comments down below and I will be sure to respond to every single one. Like and subscribe if you love old money elegance and understated fashion. And if you don't subscribe, well, it means I'll just have to wait another day to onboard you. Until next time, keep it classy, keep it timeless, and stay unapologetically yourself.